once we understand the explainer has to be adjusted to your body and the proportion of your body, we, ne we then understand that that has to vary according to the club. And you can see that a driver at 44 inches is the longest, true to a sand iron around 35 inches would be the shortest. And therefore in between, you can see the six iron would fit. So that's why I do most of my coaching with the six iron because it's in the middle of the range of movement. So you can see that the explainer has to be adjusted at this plane for the wedge, a slightly flatter plane for the six iron, and then again, we've got to have the flatter swing with the driver. Let's start with the pitching wedge. It's the shortest club in the bag, and the swing plane that I'm going to make is going to be upright. Now, when you swing the club on an upright plane, it's like a Ferris wheel, and that's a very accurate mechanism for hitting the ball around 110 yards and in. So, by virtue of the short shaft, the swing plane is steep. So we take the plane sensor and we hold the plane sensor against my upper sternum. And then I have to simply lift the explainer up, set it, and then check. And you can see now I've done a good job. So all I have to do is then get the correct roller and we're going to use the short power roller and the short power roller allows us to simulate swings from a sand iron through to a six iron. So we rest, explain our here. I'm going to take my grip at the bottom of the handle to simulate a wedge swing. And I now know that the swing plane is going through my upper sternum. You can now see that the swing is upright. I then add the wrists in and you can see the wrist hinge back and through, lots of accuracy. So the swing plane is running from the ball through my upper sternum. As I go back, the plane is determined and my wrist hinge, and that's about a full wedge swing, just beyond the perpendicular. When I come through, I release, and again, my hands hinge on the way through. So you can see the club maker by giving you a wedge, he's made the swing short, upright and wristy, and that's why the explainer is set in a steeper plane. Okay, so let's go to the six iron, and this time we're going to go to the bottom of the grip on the long roller, and that's going to give us a sort of six iron simulation, that sort of length of shot just here. Okay, but you can see already the plane is changing. So you can see now that if I go down the handle, you can see the explainer is too upright, it's in the wedge setting. So I have to drop the explainer down just a few degrees. I can now show you that the swing plane is indeed going through the upper sternum. I can take my grip at the bottom and now the swing is on a slightly flatter plane. It gives me more rotational movement in the body. I can turn a bit further and the wrist quietly set at which point you can see the flat surface is indicating I'm in plane. If I was above or below, I could feel it. So already, just by going from the sand iron to the six iron, the swing has flattened, it's become longer, the forearms are more active and the wrists are quieter. But what we've got to remember is the swing plane runs from the ball to the upper sternum. So the longest club in the bag is the driver, the exact opposite of a minute ago with the sand iron. Because if I show you now, a driver length simulation here, you can see how much the explainer is above even the six arm plane. So, I now go back to the long power roller. I'm going to hold the grip at the top. And now you can see, look how much flatter the explainer is. So I rest the hoop here, double checking that it's going through my upper sternum. And what have I got? Well, I'm going to have the longest swing 
and the widest arc and the wrist hinge is very quiet, you can hardly see it. So as the roller lengthens, we simulate the driver swing, the swing itself lengthens, there's more form rotation, less wrist hinge. With the wedge, we're hitting the ball 100 yards and in, we're going to the flag, short range. With the driver, we're hitting the ball nearly 300 yards into a 30, 40 yard fairway, it's a bigger target. So by just in the hoop, the club maker simulated swings, in this case, from wedge through to driver.